Hey everyone, I am back here with another video, and today we have something a little special. So a couple weeks ago, I went to my local hobby shop, and it's also like a crawler place so you can crawl, and I saw they had a mini Z-Track, so I kind of wanted to get into that racing, or like try doing some of that stuff, so here we have a mini Z. So let's unbox it. So here's what comes in the box. So first you have your mini Z, then you have your instructions, manual and everything like that. And then you have a couple cones and some tools. And also you have just some extra parts for the chassis. Um, and I guess one of these is to help make the chassis a little narrower if you're gonna run a narrower, narrower body. And then also you have the remote down in there. So let's get this all out. So here's the transmitter it comes with. It's the KT531P. It's a Kyosho transmitter. I never had one like this before. I actually, matter of fact, have never owned a Kyosho RC before. So this will be interesting. So here's the instruction manual. It has like the parts for it or upgrades or what the transmitter does. Just all what manuals have in them usually. So now let's get to the car. This is a Corvette. I'm not sure what year model it is. It doesn't really say on the box. At least I haven't seen it. But one of the reasons why I got this is because of the color. And this one actually comes with lights. So this will be interesting. And the nice thing about Mini Zs are they don't come with body clips. So they're super scale looking. So let's get this out of the box. So in order to get the car out, there's just a couple of twisty ties. And then it should be free. So the car is out. And now you have to cut a couple zip ties and get the twisty things out. So this thing looks insane. There's so much detail on it, it's ridiculous. And all the lights up in there too. Took me a while to get the body off just to get used to know how to doing it. And all this thing actually takes is four triple A's, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty nice. And I actually have some rechargeable ones. So I can just recharge them when they're dead. So here's the inside. There's the motor right in the back because this is two wheel drive. Um, that's what most people use for racing. And there's one spring right in the middle. And I guess there's like these other kind of weird things that they use for springs up front right there so yeah this will be fun to get into and here's the lights too so this will be pretty sweet when we turn it on so once you first turn it on it will be in training mode so um it will be slower but you can switch it but first i'm going to start off in training mode so let's chuck some batteries in and let's get ripping okay so we have the batteries installed it's kind of a pain until you get used to it but they're in now so now let's turn this car on. The on and off switch is right there. Okay, so the car is on. Um, I have no idea why the lights are flashing, but the car runs. So I'll probably just drive it with the lights flashing for right now and figure it out later in a different video. But the back lights <clears throat> are working fine. So let's give this thing a test. Okay, so we are first gonna start off on training mode and then we'll go on to regular mode after.
Okay, so now we are gonna put this in regular mode after training mode. We got a hang up training mode, pretty good. And it was pretty fun, but now let's try regular mode. Okay, to take it out of training mode, you have to hold the trigger all the way back, turn the transmitter on, then let go, and wait a couple seconds till it stops blinking and is like this. And now it is in regular mode. Okay, so a couple cool things I found out about this car is you can actually adjust the lights to make them either blink slow, fast, or none, which is super nice. All you have to do is just use the channels right here. Okay, so thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe so you can see upcoming videos like this.